Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. This is the Hip Hop Seattle Podcast. We are on episode 33. 33. Cal Naughty. It's your boy, Mr. High Def, Henry 100K. Got a special guest today. Special guest. Highway, you guys know where it is. I'm Highway Tone. You highway Tone in the know. building. Yeah. Round of applause, man. We got the man. Appreciate you pulling Y'all been up. seeing a lot from the man lately, man. The man's going in right now. Tell us about what's going on in your life right now, bro. What's new? What's Gucci? Man... The new, only thing new is these blue strips, man, and that new bitch. You know what I'm Ooh. saying? That's real shit, man. Hey, but on some real shit, I do got some new music coming. I just ain't really gave you guys too much of a sneak peek of what's been coming mm. because, you know, my last two albums, my only two albums, you know what I'm saying? I've been giving way too many sneak peeks out, man. That Ooh. nigga's been on me like, bro, come on, man. Your shit's too hot, bro. You got to, you know what I'm saying? Let these motherfuckers wait. Let them want, want let it. Let it marinate you know a little bit on them. Yeah. You feel me? That's what's yeah. up. But you've been doing your thing, man. You dropping some visuals? Yeah, I got a whole bunch of visuals getting ready to come. I got videos I haven't dropped yet. You okay. know what I'm saying? How do, how do they find that on the internet, man? You got hella videos. You've done a lot of shit. You've been I grinding, bro. Shit. You got to you know, give yourself a pat on the back, bro, because that's real talk, man. When you're able to juggle as many things as you do and able to deliver you know, content to the people who tap in with you every day, hey, that's just kind of hard to do. So, you know, I feel like you do that. Do yeah. you think you do that? I mean, yeah, I could say I could do better. You know what I'm you saying? Th- you think so? In what I'm way, like, though? Like, you know what? Like, my thing is, I fuck with the music. You know what I'm saying? Because it, it's like a way to get me out the streets. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. For me to stop fucking up, pretty much. I hear you. You know what I'm saying? But I could be way more consistent. Like, I'll drop something and then not have nothing to follow up. Because, I mean, okay. I'll have something to follow up, but I just won't follow up. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So it's like I'll drop something, and then I'll take a break. You guys won't hear from me three, four months. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Okay. But then I'll drop some shit, and then niggas will be like, ooh, I was waiting on it. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But if I was consistently dropping shit all the time, I think I'd be a whole lot more up here Word. than I, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay. Is that something that you're going to focus on as far as like 2020 going into the new decade with a whole new... Because everybody says that shit, man. New year, new me, fuck all that. But at the same time, man, we going into a whole new shit. You know what I mean? You ever think about that? Like your next moves as far as like what's going to, you know, take you to your next level? Because I know, you know, you know, I feel like you have that vibe to you, bro. My bitch, I ain't going to lie. My bitch tell me all the time, like, man... You know, she's always on me on me about this shit, you know? Okay. And she want to see me produce a whole lot more, you know what I'm saying? I should, and I should want to see myself produce a whole lot more. But mm-hmm. me, I'm always trying to figure out a way to get it back. I got too many bills, you know what I'm saying? I got too much shit going on in my regular life, you know Word. what I'm saying? And like this rap shit, don't get me wrong, it's a passion, but it's the second thing to me. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it's oh. like, like... You know, you know how it is. You know, everybody live a regular life. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We all live regular lives, you know. Even motherfuckers who ain't really having shit, you know, at least we got phone bills. So we got to figure out a way to pay it. Right. You okay. know what I'm saying? So I'm just, every day, I'm not thinking about the music as much as I should be. Even though the music knocked me a lot of bitches. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? The music then got brought me a lot of money and <laughs> brought a lot of exposure to me. You know what I'm saying? And it took my game, uh, brought my game up. You know what yeah. I'm saying? But... It's the second thing to me, you know what I'm saying? Because really this game is what pays me. This game is what put money in my pockets. You I know what that. I'm saying? It's what pay my bills. You know what I'm saying? They keep bread and meat on my table to eat, you know? I hear that. So I like, but 2020 for sure. Mm-hmm. So you got shit here. for them in 2020 though. Like you're That's already pe- done. All right, there we go. You it's already got a done. name for it and shit or what's yeah, up? Yeah, man. Prepare for that new album. Boss your life up, man. That's just coming Exclusive strictly shit. on some. It ain't no sympathizing type shit, you know what I'm saying? It's some shit niggas can listen to. But it's also some shit the bitches can listen to. Yeah. You, you know what I'm saying? both grounds. Yeah, you I know, I, I love the women, man. You know what I'm saying? You know, my favorite songs, personally, is not all that gangster shit. My okay. favorite songs, personally, is shit for the women. It's shit for the women. You yeah. know? Yeah, that's really what matters, man. Because that's if they see all the women listening to it, they're going to have to tap in. Like, man, what the fuck's going on over here? They're going to have to. A written, they're going to have to do it. You feel what I'm saying? But I feel like a lot of people are already tapping in what you got going on, What's bro. the What was the name of your last project? Uh, straight politics, yeah. You, you he had, had a, he had a, a what's it called, a release party for that or a, li- yeah, a listening. Yeah, yeah, and that yeah. shit was lit. That you shit had, was lit. You had a good uh, mix of like, like the street songs and the songs for the women on the, on that project. A lot of the the production and the hooks was a lot. It's, it's I, you know, ear catching for the people that aren't as uh, initiated into your music. So help help them get help them get into the craft a little bit. Yeah, like with my second, with the Street Politics album, I try to like, you know, try to even it out a little bit, like, you know, show the street politics as far as what really goes on in the streets out here, you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, the highway be slept on, you Mm. know what I'm saying? So we be having to wake niggas up and let niggas know it really go down out here. 
You know what okay. I'm saying? But at the same time, there's a lot of street politics for women, too. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So we, as far as when I say street politics for women, I'm talking about for the hoes. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Because these bitches go through this shit. You know what I'm saying? And it's like a nigga might set a bitch down, but niggas don't understand what these bitches be going through. You know what I'm saying? To go and try to get this bread to put it in a nigga's pockets. You know what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. I be trying to put it out there for the both of us. But honestly, a lot of people tell me, like, oh, yeah, your second album was hot. It was hot. It was hot. You know what I'm saying? But they feel like that first album I came with, that Mob Affiliations, they be like, man, that was that real hunger. That was that street shit when you was grimy and mm-hmm. you was really trying to come for it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. The street politics, they feel like, nigga, like, yeah, you showing a lot of street politics and you letting them know what's going on, but nigga, you're not as hungry for it anymore because oh, you I know see. you have a little bit more money in your pockets, you know? Yeah. Mm, okay. So you you bringing back that hunger for the next one? Like, what inspired? So what what inspired you to do the first one? So going into the third one now, like, did you, did you can you pinpoint that? Like, what you what you was doing the during first that time? One, I okay. So the first one, I was still mainly just broke. You okay. know what I'm saying? Man, I, I, and I, all I could do is just reminisce on the shit that we was going through. You know, like my mom, one of my biggest inspirations. My aunties, my biggest inspirations. My older cousins, my biggest inspirations. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. my brothers and my sisters, my biggest inspirations because I can remember them times. You know, we was growing up and we didn't have a place to live. Like we all stayed at the Stevenson's Motel, South 336 and Pacific Highway. You know what I'm saying? In the crack motel, we stayed there for about four or five years straight. That's some you know real what I'm ass shit, The whole man. family. Not just me, my mom, and my sisters and brothers, but my aunties and my cousins too. The whole family, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And we came up off of crack money, hmm. you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So, like, growing up in that type of environment, you know, and that's what kind of, like, filled that first album. Like, nigga, this is oh, where I come God. from. This is what it is, you know what I'm saying? The second album is just kind of like, you know, I gave it to you guys on the first album, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So the second album is kind of like I wanted to to try and ball because now I'm having a little bit more bread so I want to try to involve my music you know what I'm saying I hear that niggas is kind of like bro a lot I gotta also remember a lot of niggas is still going through the struggle Mm. a lot of niggas ain't you know like now yeah I got the big ass house 3,000 square feet you know what I'm saying Mm -hmm. and I got the foreigns and all that other shit you know what I'm saying be proud bro yeah Yeah, but I'm just saying a lot of niggas don't have that so they can't relate to that that's true they can relate to the struggles that I was going through Uh so that first album showed them niggas all that struggle, all the shit we was going through. Because I remember waking up, nigga, nights and mornings and shit. My mom wasn't near because she was still in the streets trying to hustle get some money. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I remember them times, you know, when my uncle, he took take care of the whole family. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Out here in the, in, coming into the uh, to the motel room, using the microwave to cook up and make it happen. You know what I'm saying? Man, bro. Like, I remember them times. We didn't have nothing. I remember wearing my, my brother's motherfucking shoes. Now, now I got the brand new J's that just came out today. Tell you know what I'm super, saying? Tell but him, I remember wearing my brother's shoes. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And. Man. He had them two, three years, and then I had them two, three years. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I remember walking around with stains on my shirts, holy clothes, and all this shit, and nigga, the grimiest nigga in the neighborhood. Feel you, me? You, you feel like you chosen, bro? Yeah, I'm the chosen one. I'm highway tone. You no, feel some me? real shit, though, because you you, you're talking about coming up from the bottom. You're talking about some real shit that people can relate to. You feel me? Like, you really coming up, and you have a story behind it. Like, sometimes, bro, like, certain situations, you don't want to look over it. Sometimes you're the chosen one. Like, you're supposed to, you're, you have a purpose. You feel Listen, me? I ain't going to lie. I got blessed. Yeah. You feel me? That's I how I feel a, I right got, now. I got, I got a lawsuit that put me on for, like, like uh, a, little bit, a little bit over 30 bands. You okay. feel me? I'm not going to cap. Like, oh, hey. yeah, whoa, whoa, you feel me? But I fucked all that money off. I fucked it all off. Because when you're a nigga that never had nothing, it's like right. me, I'm a nigga that never had nothing. They really talk yeah. about that so, shit. So, you know what I'm saying? So, when I got that bread, I fucked it all off. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? So, it brought me back down to the mud. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But just having that bread and just knowing how having good it, it felt, yeah. you know what I'm saying? It made me like, nigga, I got to stack this bread back up. You know what I'm saying? So, people yeah. be like, oh, sometimes people be like, oh, nigga, you had a little lawsuit that put you on your feet. Nah, nigga, I fucked that off. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? That money was gone. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? That money was gone in like four, five days. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Literally, that money real, was gone. Man. I didn't buy no cars or none of that shit. I just fucked it all off on me, my niggas, my family, giving people money. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because I got a big heart and I fucked all that off. But now, I, I, my, I blame my success, feel me, from fucking off. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because I fucked all, I didn't, I, nigga, Even when I had that bread, I didn't go get myself a house. Yeah. I didn't go get myself a car. I ain't gonna give myself nothing, you know, but motherfucking some earrings. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's how I got myself with some earrings, you know what I'm saying? And took care of my bitch, you know what I'm saying? Took care of my family, you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, we all struggle. We all it came sounds like you did some good deeds with the money, though, at least. 
I tried. You know Try, what I'm saying? But if I you're really taking care of people close to you, you can't completely say fuck it all. Because if you did take care of your people's, bro, that's I mean, a yeah, commendable thing. I bought my little thing. sister a car. I gave my mom a couple of bands. You know, I, I took care of my aunties and my cousins and shit like that. There's some niggas who take the 30 bands and leave the state. Yeah. Like, shit, that was that's my what I way did. out. Shit, that's what I should have crazy. <laughs> I feel like I should have done that because I would have been in a better position right Life is hard as hell. Motherfuckers is thinking that. I'm going to take 30 bands dip. You feel me? I fucked it all off. I'll think about it tomorrow. You know, but you know what? It's good though because you know what? That's the game. You know what I'm saying? And it come back tenfold. That's how I was able to. You know what I'm saying? Really just grind because I know it. I'm like nigga, I had this already. Exactly. You know, even though it came off of that, I've had this already. You have so, the one nigga, up. If I had it once, nigga, I could have it again. That's right. That's you a know great mentality to have, yeah. actually, man. That if you if you acquired it once, you can get it again, and you can get it more. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's a possibility. That's so a I really point. put my all into the hustle. I put my all into this game. I put my all into if there's music. I put my all into everything that I do. And you know what? It greatly benefits me. So when motherfuckers be looking like, oh, this nigga's doing this and that because of this and that, I be like, man, them niggas hating because they, they don't know my story. <laughs> they don't know where I come from. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Because I'm really, a, and, 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 and no matter how I came up, you should be happy at how I came up because I'm really one of them niggas that never had nothing. That's right. You feel me? When you go through the hood, if you ask about me from the highway to the south end and everywhere else, if you want to ask about me, I was always the grimiest nigga, snotty nose nigga. You know what I'm saying? That didn't have nothing, holes in my shoes and holes in my clothes. I was always the grimiest nigga in the neighborhood. People used to talk about me. All the girls used to run from me. Now they come to me. Look at that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, man, I got, we got to give a round of applause from that, man. A black man coming up, there is no way we going to just fucking just... We can't shade that kind of shit, man. That's some that's some real great shit, man. I like, I like hearing stuff like that. And honestly... Going into the third shit, I feel like people would love to hear that perspective. The nigga that had it once, lost it, got it. It's like the ultimate story. That's the pe- people like the fucking Rudy story. The nigga that you know had it once, lost that shit, went, had to you know go back. You know what I mean? Reevaluate and come back and kill it. Bounce you know back what I mean? even harder, yeah. And then you don't have to completely have the whole like I got it. You can give both of it. You can be like nigga, I got this shit and I worked for it, and nobody's gonna say shit to you. Like, who's really going to say shit to the guy that really worked for everything that he has? You can make your jokes, but as soon as that man speaks and says, you know what I mean, what are you going to say? So I feel like there's nobody can say shit to you, bro. I mean, you're a living embodiment of your success and everything, you feel me? And then you're able to put this music out that makes people feel a type of way. Even if, you know what I mean, I'm sure I've heard some of your stuff and I'm feeling like when you're listening to it, you can really feel like you're, even if you're not in that, Mm -hmm. you can hear the passion evoked from you Mm -hmm. that you can feel that, like you can apply it to your own life. Like, yeah, nigga, I know how he feels though. And that's the purpose of the music. It doesn't matter how you're preaching the message. You can say whatever words, but as long as it gets to somebody and they can apply that to their life in a positive way or whatever, hey, that's the purpose of the music, nigga. And some people use that in a negative way, like, I want to fuck shit up. So they go out and they just put, you know, their own shit in there and start fucking people's lives up. But there's other niggas that are like, yo, I went through this and I want to show you the real life. And that's what I feel like your, your yeah, music really prints. shows. I'm showing you some real shit and this is what it is. And then you got a positive message too. Mm-hmm. And hey, you show the human side because nigga, it's a duality. Sometimes it's going to be a, a negative. Sometimes I, sometimes I am set, like, fuck you. Mm-hmm. you feel me? Sometimes it is like that in your music because you're feeling that way. But hey, I got to tip my hat off for that, bro. Like real shit is respect. I just feel like, man, you can drop that shit on wax and people are going to fuck with that. That's just my opinion. I just be mm-hmm. trying to keep it authentic. It's not that I want motherfuckers to follow the same footsteps that I went through. Yeah. Is I just want motherfuckers to see this is how we came up. This is how we went. This is what we went through. I like that. It right. wasn't easy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And for the youth out there, I want you guys to understand, like, man, don't try to be like Highway Tone, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, 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 it's a dead end situation. You know what I'm saying? There's only one me. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And everybody, it's it's just not meant for everybody. You can't, everybody can't go through the same struggles that I went through. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Everybody can't survive the shit that I went through. Feel me? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, and think that they're going to be strong, man. A lot of this shit that I went through, man, the, the week's going to fold. Yeah, feel bro, me? I, I, there's no sucking shit on my name, not running from no niggas. You know what I'm saying? Not running mm-hmm. from no phase. There's never been no nigga. I, mean, t- I never told on nobody. Mm-hmm. There's no paperwork in the world on me. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I've never been a bitch. I've never been none of that weird shit. You know what I'm saying? I've always been a real authentic nigga. And there's other and there's niggas from the other side. You know what I'm saying? I'm from the highway. There's niggas from the city. You know what I'm saying? That are vouch and show love because they know how much of a real nigga I am. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And they know I'd have been in situations where I'd have been outnumbered. You know what I'm saying? 30 to 1. Man. And you know what I'm saying? Amen. And they be like, this little nigga right here is a gangster. They be like, this little nigga got heart because I'm not backing down from nothing. But that don't, that don't mean... Try to be like that. Oh, just gotta, cause that type of same mentality will get somebody killed. Yeah. You know what I'm true. saying? And life is too valuable. It is. You know what man. I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And if I was smarter when I was younger, cause I'm a smart man, don't get me wrong, like, I was always smart. 
as as far as academics go, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? I just got ADHD and I never did good with motherfucking people telling me what to do. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But as far as academically, my reading levels and shit, I was in elementary, I have a college college reading levels. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I could have really did something with my life. But you know, I I was in a, a fucked up environment. So instead of going to school, I was going to court. You know what I'm saying? Wow, while motherfuckers was in school, I was in motherfucking motel rooms trapping, trying to get some money. You know what I'm saying? Trying to figure out my life. You know what I'm saying? And it's just like the environment I was in. But if I was smarter about the decisions I was making when I was younger, I wouldn't be here now. I'll be somewhere, man. I'm trying to tell you corporate CEO, man. So for all the younger ones out there, man, think about your future. You know what I'm saying? Don't think about what's going on for right now. Think about your future and what you can do. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Don't count yourself out, man, because there ain't no struggle bigger than you. You feel me? Hey, man, two times, man. That's amazing, bro. That's amazing shit. And that's the kind of mentality that needs to be broadcasted more, bro. Mm -hmm. This is some real shit, bro. Some real ass shit. And I appreciate you coming through saying stuff. You don't really get a lot of people that have achieved what you've achieved and decide to even just talk about that at all in the slightest. And for you to do that, it's respectable, bro. And I feel like a lot of people, uh, you know, I feel a lot of people already respect you and already see that. But this is a whole side of you that I feel like a lot of people are going to be like, man. Even people that already know you, bro. It's really like. You don't strike me as a dumb guy at all. You seem like a really intelligent, real about your peoples. Mm-hmm. Real like there's a certain aura to you that I, I be feeling that sometimes when we have guests and shit like that. Certain people yeah. have certain auras. That's why I was like, that's why I asked you, man. Do you think you're the chosen one? Because there is something about you that it is different, bro. Yeah, you got depth to your character. Yeah, there's you something about you, bro. So I, I just like to see people win. Hey, man, no, not everybody, everybody has that though. See, see me win. Anybody who know me and like if they really know me, mm-hmm. you could be. I done gauge. Like real shit, real shit. I done pulled over to the gas station, going to get gas, and seen real deal crackheads, baseheads, and all that shit, and then gave them rides to where they need to be. You know, put money in their pockets and shit. Mm-hmm. I'm just a genuine person. I like to see people eat. I like to see people win. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And the way it is, if you give off good energy, good energy gonna come back to you. Oh, it's the truth. You know what I'm saying? And at the end of the day, man, you don't never look down on nobody. You feel me? Because mm. I know how it feels to be the one I was looked down on. Yeah. I know how it feels. You know what I'm saying? I, I done fed niggas when they was down because I know how it feels to be down. Mm-hmm. You know? You know how it feels to be when, nigga, you don't eat for two, three days straight. You know what I'm saying? You're just surviving off of water. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. All, all, out of the sink. You feel me? Out of the motel man. room. Talk you know about what I'm saying? It, man. This is so A lot of niggas, that, when you ain't, moms is, moms is hustling, doing the best she can. You know what I'm saying? Pops is, my pops is a real nigga. My dad's a real nigga, but he was a rolling stone. My dad, my dad got over 20 kids. He can't mm-hmm. take care of them all. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So it's just like, and, and it, it's just like my dad lived in the ghetto in the South End. My mom lived in the ghetto on the highway. You know what I'm saying? So it was just kind of like a fucked up situation either way it goes. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So it's like, I really want to see niggas win c- coming from where I come from and being like, no matter where I went, even when I went to school in the South End or went to school in the city, went to school on the highway, everywhere I went, I was always the grimiest little kid. Everybody always mm. made fun of me and the shit. So you know what I'm saying? I Black sheep, and it's always the one. That's always the one that makes it and goes through the open doors for niggas like you. Yeah, so that's yeah. why I like to see niggas win because if you come from what I come from, you would understand. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. You get that perspective. Yeah, you would understand like niggas who ain't never had nothing. You know, it's like when you get a little bit of something, mm-hmm. you, you're going to fuck it off eventually because, nigga, you never had it before. Yeah. You know I feel that? like all the people that need to hear you, they're going to hear you. I feel like if whatever, if it's not for them, then they're just not going to give a fuck. But I feel like all the people that really need to hear you, I feel like it's a matter of time before they do. You know what I mean? And it can be a song. It can be you just doing what you're doing already. It could be anything, dog. But all I know is that it's going to be something, you know? You don't just go that far and just be left off nowhere. I feel like you got somewhere going with it. You know what I mean? So, I mean, on the music side, because you just gave us some real game on life and some philosophies. I fucking appreciate that shit. Let's talk about a little bit of the music and stuff like that. How did you get started with it, though? Like, what made you even rap for the first time? Okay, so look, my brother Gangsta, my my brother's name is Gangsta J, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. He he had dropped his first album, Young Hog, Boss Hog, or whatever. It didn't do, like, it was a filthy album to me. I loved it. You know okay. what I'm saying? Yeah. It gave me motivation to want to wanna do music at all. Before that, I was never a rapper. You know what I'm saying? Mm. But it didn't. Do nothing. You know what I'm saying? It didn't surface. It didn't like it didn't you know make no numbers. It didn't make no noise mm-hmm. like that. It made noise just in our neighborhood. Just right, right? there, yeah. You know what I'm saying? But it didn't really make no noise like that. So like uh, my brother, he kind of gave me the inspiration because what he was rapping about, he was rapping about some real street shit that was really going on, you know what I'm saying? But he was older than I was, you know what I'm saying? Okay. I was younger going through them same struggles that he was going through. Mm-hmm. Feel me? 
So when I started really rapping about it, it should. It, I just looked at my mom and my aunties and my cousins. I like my dad's side of the family. I looked at them too. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. That's why my Who Can I Run To, that song, was based off my dad's side of the family. You know okay. what I'm saying? What we went through in the South end. But the rep, most of the other shit is based off my mom's side of the family. You know what I'm saying? Because we had a little bit of a harder struggle. See, my dad's side of the family, my dad, even though he had 20-some kids, he had a, he kept a stable house. That's mm-hmm. great. You know what I'm saying? He kept a stable house, made sure, you know what I'm saying, his kids was going to school and shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but respect. even when I stayed over there, I remember my mom. My mom used to drive from Federal Way all the way to the South and to come see us, and she had, didn't have a fucking driver door in her motherfucking car. That's you know what I'm saying? That's yeah. love. You know? And, and for, to see my mom go through the shit that she went through, because my mom went through a lot trying to raise my ass. I remember my mom used to have to come sit in my class. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. My ass was just, I just couldn't get it right. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I yeah. had ADHD. I wanted to be the nigga in class. I was the grimy nigga, so I had to show my ass. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Class clown, just being dumb, but I'm smart. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But I say that to say, man, I just really want to see a lot of niggas elevate because, you know, coming from where we come from, and, 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 and lot, I see statistically wise, coming from where we come from, a lot of niggas is not headed nowhere. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah, niggas man, headed so. to the penitentiary, headed to the grave. You know what I'm saying? And that's why I be looking at shit like, damn, free a lot of my niggas, especially my little niggas that came up under me, because I could have been a better role model. You know what I'm saying? And should have been a better role model. And I'm going to be a better role model to all the new youth that come around. Because when I look at all my little bros, like in my song, when I said, what I say, uh, Donald doing 15, do dirt doing 20, dang. Tay facing life at 15, that's real life. You know what I'm saying? Those are all my little niggas, free, uh, 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 free Donald, Goofy, and Tay, you know those guys, you know what I'm saying? Little mm-hmm. Fade or, 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 or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Free, uh, uh, uh I mean, uh, Free, free uh, J Way, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Free J Benz, you know what I'm saying? Welcome home, my little bro, Ville, man, you know what I'm saying? Keep that shit highway, niggas. Welcome home, my nigga Nettie, you know what I'm saying? Welcome home, my nigga Ron Ron, you know what I'm saying? But uh, it's just like, nigga, when you in the streets, you yeah. know what I'm saying? You got two options, man. Success or failure, you got to pick which one you're going to do. Yeah. You really do. You have Success a living testimony, man. It's real. Is this stuff you think about in your, in your downtime, too, as well? I think about it all the time because when I see niggas, Going through shit, because I be seeing niggas go through shit all the time. Mm-hmm. You know, whether it be niggas especially on social media or whether it be in real life, I see motherfuckers going through shit all the time and I be like, damn, cuz. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. cuz, like, nigga, you don't even know your potential. You know what I'm saying? You don't know what you can be. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, a lot of times, you niggas could be bigger than what you niggas are, but you niggas don't even see your own potential. Do the, do the youth have, the new youth, do they have OGs around them? It's like this. A lot of the OGs, like I just said in the song with my nigga June, June the Legend, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I said, uh, my little niggas down and shit. The older homies proud of them. I'm proud of y'all too, but just be smart when you niggas move. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Because a lot of times the OGs, they're going to be proud to see you putting in work. They're going to be proud to see you making a name for yourself. You know, when you're that little nigga out here and you beat niggas up and you the gunning niggas down and you made your name, they're going to be proud to call you their little homie. Mm. But nigga, why can't you be proud to say the same thing about the same little nigga that's going to school getting this shit done? Wow. You know? Yeah. That's a you, very you gonna look at the little nigga like he a square, but this same little square nigga will get out there and do the same thing. Because I know some little square niggas that's going to school that's with the shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But niggas, the OGs is leading these niggas to down the wrong path. Niggas want to try to make numbers for their hood and try to make, make shit look good. Man, it's not about that no more, man. You know? Yeah. That shit played out. And Highway Tone just and made a nigga statement. nigga that went through any real struggle, I know that shit's played out, nigga. Right there. You feel me? Yeah. Official, bro. Hey, man, we really appreciate you coming through. Stream all his shit that he got up right now. It's on the platforms. You go on YouTube, watch his videos, look him up, invest some time, man. We got a young brother here killing the game out here. He needs some recognition. And he got recognition, but he needs all y'all tapping in, too. Yeah, the living testament of don't let your surroundings or don't let what other people think of you decide what you can do. You can get up and make things happen. For real. They can't decide your fate, man. Because, listen, at the end of the day, man, all, to all the kids going to school, all the ones that listen listen to my music and look up to me, the best, the best advice I can give to you, man, is don't follow on my same footsteps. You know what I'm saying? Don't try to be like me. Be better than me. Mm, feel me? That's you know. That's some game, man. Some Episode 33 of the Hip Hop Seattle Podcast. It's your boy Kalanati. It's your boy Miss High Def, Henry 100K. Yeah, man, it's the highway, guests. man. Highway tone, the one and only. Falls out. Yes, sir. 33, we out, man. We out.